In their separate remarks, some persons said the assurance by President Goodluck Jonathan that the May 29th handing over date remains sacrosanct has doused tension. They commended the president for his calm disposition despite the tension in the country. He said that if he lose, he will hand over. That's the major point that there will be stability and peace in the country. He made it clear that whether he's the one going to be there or any other person is coming, definitely on the 29th there will be a new administration in Nigeria. According to them, the firm resolved by the president to hand over on the 29th of May to whoever emerges winner of the presidential election and for debunking rumor over alleged plans to relieve the INEC chairman of his appointment would go a long way to make the election peaceful. The rumor that Jega would be relieved of his appointment before time we people, or I personally think is a civilian coup, has been the fear of the masses, have been, uh, the tension is down now. As regards to the ANEC, the removal of the ANEC chairman, he didn't give us a compressive reasons. He said he ought to have seen the guy around him before he can make such uh, I mean, a comment. Based on that, he debated on that issues and the uh, what we think anything, anything may, may, I mean, may, may happen. His reaction to Chibok gets trusting God. He wasn't relying on his own power or that of the army. So that these girls, by the grace of God, they will be released to us alive. The respondents, however, appealed to members of the public to use the period of extension of election to collect their permanent voter cards. Ikmamusa Ugiagwe reporting.